And the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria and the Maritime Branch of the Senior Staff Association of Statutory Corporations and Government-Owned Companies have rejected the Port and Harbour Bill after it's killed third ridden at the National Assembly. Senior Correspondent Sharon Ajasso reports. It's a gathering of workers in the maritime sector. They are concerned about the Port and Harbour Bill currently being deliberated upon by the National Assembly. According to the workers, the bill which seeks to repeal the Nigerian Port Authority MPA Act would render MPA workers jobless and endanger productivity of other port users if passed into law. We wish to note that this bill, if allowed to be passed into law, we, we are far reaching grave consequences on the spirit of the nation as it will ceded harbor, jetty and terminal operations into private hands. We are therefore not surprised that this bill is being vigorously sponsored by unpatriotic individuals within the maritime sector. Even more sinister is the proposed idea of the bill to provide wholly an employment that will not be personable as well as that as not transferable and without access to terminal benefits. Labor leaders stress the importance of the federal government to take charge of the economic life wire of the country. Any attempt to push this heavy bill further will therefore demand for its withdrawal in its entirety. VAT and maritime operation in compliance with the laid down law Terminal operation bringing a ship in and out of the port to a private individual. The security situation in Nigeria will not be guaranteed. A lot of things are coming in and out of Nigeria where we still have even government officials there. In a situation you don't have government officials in all these places, what do you think will happen? The union described the move as a ploy by some selfish individuals in the maritime sector to cause chaos in the industry which has enjoyed sustained peace. The workers passed a vote of confidence on the MPA Act as it served the interests of Nigeria and the well-being of workers in the sector. The bill was earlier stepped down by the National Assembly in 2018. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News.